The Brazilian coffee industry will maintain its position as the world's largest coffee producer in 2022. Brazil has dominated the world coffee market for over 150 years. Today, in addition to being the largest producer of coffee in the world, Brazil is also the largest exporter of coffee, contributing a third of the world's total coffee production each year. Brazil's leadership in world coffee production is largely due to the country's large plantation area and favorable climate for the cultivation of the two main types of coffee beans, Arabica and Robusta. Brazil's leadership in the world coffee market remains unquestioned despite the decline in coffee production in recent years. Over the past two decades, a number of highly concentrated and quality-conscious coffee producers have emerged in Brazil and dedicated themselves to specialty coffees. In 2021 alone, Brazil exported about 42.4 million 60 kilo bags of green coffee, with a revenue of $6.4 billion. Brazilian coffee production is expected to reach 55.7 million bags in the 2022 harvest. The estimate, if confirmed, represents an increase of 16.8% compared to production in 2021. History of Brazil's Coffee Production During the 19th century, as disease ravaged Asia's coffee regions, immigrant workers began joining the Brazilian coffee industry and the country's agriculture sector became industrialized setting the stage for Brazil to become the world's largest coffee producer, a position it still holds. In an attempt to ameliorate the situation, the Brazilian government committed to buying all of the country's coffee and keeping it off the market until prices stabilized. Finally, after almost 30 years of focusing on satisfying distribution demand rather than improving quality and innovation, Brazil abandoned the ICA and created the Brazilian Specialty Coffee Association BSCA, to transform the country into a prominent coffee producer. To discover, promote and recognize the country's high-quality coffee, Brazil launched the Cup of Excellence Jury Competition. Harvesting and Processing Coffee in Brazil Industrialization in the early 20th century brought technological innovations to many Brazilian plantations, especially in harvesting and processing techniques, making them the most advanced and modern coffee producers in the world. There are three main methods of harvesting coffee in Brazil. Selective manual picking. Selective picking of ripe cherries. With this method, several rounds of checks are made during harvest to ensure that only the ripest cherries are picked each time. This is the most laborious and expensive sampling method. Strip picking. Cherries are completely removed from the branches regardless of their ripeness. They are usually collected in a large plastic sheet and then placed on the ground to pick cherries. Mechanical harvest, shake the tree with a mechanical lathe to remove the cherry from the branches. Belt picking and mechanical harvesting consist of the sorting of coffee cherries in dry and wet mills, using machinery and the latest technology to assist in the sorting of the coffee. These methods have become more popular in recent years as labor costs have risen in Brazil. Brazil processes its coffee by the washed, natural, and pulped natural methods. The vast majority of Brazilian coffee beans are still processed via the dry method since Brazil is one of the few countries in the world that has the appropriate weather to do so successfully. Due to Brazil's distinct dry and wet seasons, the flowering and cherry maturation is homogeneous. This allows Brazilians to harvest coffee via the strip picking method or mechanically. Although underripe and overripe cherries are also harvested, careful processing will easily remove these coffee cherries. Dry process also known as the natural process coffees, are dried while they are still in the cherry. Before drying, only cherries that float will be removed. Since the coffees are dried in contact with the sweet mucilage, the coffee will be heavy in body, sweet, smooth, and complex. This coffee is also one of the most complex to deal with due to the long drying times and the possibility of fermentation. However, since dry processed coffees are more difficult, Brazil has invested significant time and money in developing new drying systems and drying practices to prevent fermentation. Wet process. Wet processing coffees are a relatively new method of removing the four layers surrounding the coffee bean. This process results in a coffee that is cleaner, brighter, and fruitier. Wet processing is done in a relatively small proportion to dry processing in Brazil, but offers another cleaner and brighter dimension to Brazilian coffees. Pulped natural. The pulped natural method consists of pulping a coffee, but omitting the fermentation stage to remove the silver skin. This results in a beverage that has characteristics of both a dry and wet processed coffee. It is often sweeter than wet processed coffees, 
has some of the body of a dry processed coffee, but also retains some of the acidity of a wet processed coffee. This type of processing can only occur in countries where the humidity is low and the coffee covered in the sweet mucilage can be dried rapidly without fermenting. Brazil has made this method famous and produces some of the best pulped natural coffees in the world. All 20 winners of the Gourmet Cup competition in Brazil in 2000 processed their coffees using the pulped natural method. Key Region Coffee is produced in 14 different regions of Brazil, spread over seven states. Five of them are in the south of the country, Espirito Santos, Minas Gerais, Sao Paulo, Paran, and Rio de Janeiro, while the other two, Bahia and Rondonia, where only Robusta is grown, are in the north. Minas Gerais Minas Gerais is the largest coffee-producing state in Brazil, producing almost 50% of the country's production. It also happens to be the main source of Brazilian specialty coffee. The producing regions within Minas Gerais are Sol de Minas. Sol de Minas, also known as South Minas, is at a higher altitude, averaging 950 meters, with moderate annual temperatures of around 22 degrees Celsius. It also produces about 30% of the country's coffee, mostly from small farms between 10 and 100 years old, although they can vary significantly. The main varieties are Cachoe, Mundo Novo, Ikatu, Obata, and Cachoe Ruby. In terms of flavor, you'll find bold coffee here, with hints of citrus and fruit. Cerrado de Minas Cerrado de Minas becomes the first coffee-producing region in Brazil to receive a designation of origin, Cerrado Mineiro, along with the famous wine-producing region. It is a large area of 55 cities, located between Alto Paranaba and the Triangulo Mineiro in northwest of Minas Gerais. Their holdings range from medium, about 2 to 300 hectares to large holdings. This area, at an altitude of 800 to 1,300 meters, has four distinct seasons, wet summers and mild to dry winters, which result in different coffee production. Here you will find Mundo Novo and Cachoe, Cerrado de Minas, more acid, medium and sweet coffee. Chapada de Minas The Chapada de Minas is a mountainous region interspersed with valleys, suitable for automated production. Cachoe and Mundo Novo are cultivated here. Matas de Minas Matas de Minas is located in the Atlantic forest and has a mountainous landscape and a hot and humid climate. 80% of their productive holdings have less than 20 hectares. It is best known for its growing production of specialty coffee, often with crunchy, caramel, or chocolate flavors. Cachoe and Mundo Novo are cultivated here. Bahia Located in northeastern Brazil, Bahia is a recent addition. Coffee cultivation only began here in the 1970s, but it is already known for its high-quality coffee beans and use of technology. About 75% of the crop is Arabica coffee. Bahia has two production areas, Cerrado and Planalto da Bahia. These are high-tech coffee production areas in Brazil. Full mechanization is common, from pruning to harvesting. This is achieved by the regular ripening of the cherry, which in turn occurs with irrigation. Result, the highest productivity in the country. But it is not only necessary to mention the productivity levels of the region. Antonio Rigo de Oliveira from Chacarve São Judas Tadeu de Piada Farm won the 2015 Pulp Naturals Brazil Cup for Excellence with a score of 91.22 out of 100. Antonio also won the Cafe President badge for scoring over 90 points. The climate of this region is high, hot in summer, dry in summer, and rainy in winter. This results in a sweet coffee, usually cacwe, with less acidity and a richer texture. Parena You'll find farms growing exclusively Arabica in Nort Pioneiro do Parena. Coffee plantations are dense and have high levels of productivity. Rondionaya This region is exclusively dedicated to growing conolin, robusta, coffee, and has a tropical climate with high temperatures and low altitudes. Now you know the main coffee-producing regions of Brazil like the back of your hand. The next time you buy coffee, whether it's brewed at home or in a coffee shop, I encourage you to look at the regions where it's grown. Can you feel the difference? If you like this content, please check out our other video. Thank you.